The following video is brought to you by the Space Coast Association of Realtors. Okay, we're going to talk about the Prospect Manager program in Anovia. Uh, in order to access the program, you'll find a button over here on the right once you log in on the home page and you click Prospect Manager and that'll bring up your Prospect Manager and you have three basic panels here. You have This is really where all the action is, the upper panel here where you have your prospects and then you'll have your messages down here and any showing information will, will be done here. Uh, in the next couple sessions about Prospect Manager, we're only going to really be talking about how you get your client information into the system and how you get them set up for the automatic notifications uh, when something comes on the market that matches their criteria or something that they've already been sent to in the, what do we call their prospect cart has a change to it. So in order to start out, you can see up at the top, you have a button that says Add. So you just click on that and that'll start the process. You go through about four or five different steps and the first step is putting in the client's information. So you're going to put in the um, client's first and last name. And, and you tab over to the next field or, and it'll say it'll com convert the name into the description or you can change that name and uh, make it a uh, description of your own, like in this case we're setting up a prospect to look at uh, canal front homes in Cocoa Beach, so we could change the description to that, uh, but we won't. And the next section is the address. As you start to build up your prospect data files, uh, you may want to mail uh, information to prospects, and if you put the address in through the Prospect Manager program, you'll be able to create labels in the future. So we would type in an address of our seller, of our buyer, I mean, and and then the phone numbers. Again, those are optional like the address, but you may want to add those so you'll have quick reference to them. And then you'll come down to the email addresses. You have to have at least one email address for your client so they'll be able to receive the uh, prospect cards. And so you'll type that email address in. And you can see that you can have up to four different email addresses. So they could have a, you know, a, a work email that they want to get the link sent to or a personal email that they want to get sent to or maybe a spouse also wants to be receiving the link. So up to four different email addresses can be added per client. And you can create groups in your prospect manager. I've already created some. So you might have one group for lookers, one for investors, one for very serious buyers and so on. Um, so just click the group that you want to put that particular prospect in. See how, check how many times, uh, how often they should be receiving the updates. And maybe you wanted to make it as soon as possible or you can make it just daily or weekly or monthly. It all depends on how serious your buyer is, how important they want to start looking at properties and also how often they want to receive emails. They may not want to receive an email every 15 minutes or so, depending on how you've set your, your, your search criteria up. And you get over here to functionality, and you've got email me, email my prospect, and typically people will check both of them because they'll want to get the client and the agent to get the, the links at the same time. But sometimes, depending on your particular prospect, Maybe you don't want to be notified every time they receive a new email link. You can always go into Prospect Manager and look at their view of the cart. Uh, or vice versa, you may want to have the email links, the link sent to your email only and then forward it onto their email after you've opened up the prospect cart and looked 
to see what listings are in there. So it depends on what kind of control you want to have. Choose your property type, residential, vacant land, commercial, etc. We're going to do a residential. And then we go over here and click Create Login. That creates a unique login for that particular prospect. Uh, they don't really need a login ID to open up the links, so they'll hardly ever have a reason to, to go to Inovia and log in because uh, they'll always just receive an email with the link in it. But it does identify that particular prospect within the Inovia system. You can create your own custom salutations. So, Dear John Doe, you could change to Dear Johnny if you're on a more of a first name basis with the customer. And then you can create your own email message. Here are some great canal homes. Cocoa Beach. And then you can put in any personal notes in this section. So why are they buying? Um, you know, are they a first time home buyer? Uh, in this case, they're a retiree from Michigan that wants to get a canal front home down here. So you could put that information in there because if they're not buying right away, you might want to go back to the notes and check and see why you put them in your prospect system to begin with. Okay, also you can put in information about the spouse, maybe her name or his name, depending, and any children's name, and that's just for personal reference. So we click on OK, and it'll reload the prospect system, and you'll see that we've done the first um, icon here. Then we go to the search icon. So we click on the search icon, search input icon, I should say, and we'll set up our search, remembering what we learned in Inovia, um, the basic training. So we're going to be looking at actives, residential, single family. Uh, let's say they'll go up to a price of 400,000. So we'll say 400,000 dash, which means 400,000 or less. And then we have, scroll down our area, pick Cocoa Beach. We're not going to include any subdivision information, so we skip over that. Same with streets, city, and zip. But we do want to find canal front home, so we click waterfront, yes, canal navigational. If they absolutely positively wanted to pool, you could click on pool, yes. Uh, you can put in uh, year build or living square footage, depending on what their criteria are for that. And just like with any Inovia search, the more things you input, the less likely you are to get a lot of property. So you want to be careful not to, you know, narrow down your search too much. So let's say they want at least three bedrooms, so we'll put in three plus there. And we'll put in two plus for bathrooms. And we'll skip over um, everything else except maybe coded features. We'll click on coded features, see if there's anything there we want to include. You know, maybe we only want to look at uh, one story or two story homes. We're looking at canal front homes. So we want to maybe have a uh, bulkheaded seawall or a boat ramp, um, anything like that. And once we choose those, we just click accept and that would save your coded features. That's basic Inovia 101. And once you've got your criteria set up, uh, we're not going to have you hit the search button at this point, okay? The easiest, smoothest way to do this program is to go to the next step, which means, first of all, we're going to save prospect. So we click on the save prospect button, brings up the prospect information, does that every time, and you click OK. And now it'll take us to the prospect manager. We'll get there by clicking on the prospect manager button. And then we look at the third icon. The third icon is the little thing that looks like a magnifying glass. So we've set up the search criteria. Now we're going to actually have the computer or Inovia run the search. So we click on the little icon there. It tells us the there are 12 listings that satisfy our request. And if you want to do a little legwork, you could go through and click on the ML number and look at the full display on every one and decide if every one of those is ones that you want to send to the, uh, to the client. But if they all look good, you can just go up here to the upper left-hand corner, 
click on select all. Don't worry about any of these display options here. The most important thing after you select the listings that you want to put in the client's cart is to go down here, right here, and click add to cart. So you click add to cart. Whoop, the listings go away. They've now been placed in the cart. And then we hit the back button to go back to prospect manager. So the steps we've done so far is we put in the client's information, we've put in his search criteria, we've run the search, and we've placed the listings in his cart. So now what we have to do is go ahead and email the client. So all we have to do is go over here to the envelope. Remember what we did with these different icons. We put in the, contact, the, the client's information, contact information. We put in the search criteria. We ran the search and put the listings in the cart. And so now we're going to email them. So you just click on the envelope. And the email box will come up. And it's already set up to be sent. So you can go down here simply and click on send. Okay. When sending it that way, when sending the cart that way for the initial time, the client will not be allowed to respond to that particular email because it's being sent from the Inovia system. So if you have Outlook, if you use it with Roadrunner or whatever, then you can click on My Email and it'll bring up the Outlook program with the link in it. That way you can use your own email program, put in your, uh, the customer's email, put in your own subject line, uh, type into the, the body the information that you want to send to them, explaining how to click on the link, etc. That way they would be able to respond to your own email. You would also find out if the email didn't go through because you'd get an error message. You don't get an error message with the send button. But uh, in our particular example, we're just going to hit the send button. Your message has been sent. And so now that email with the link to the prospect cart is sitting in the client's email. So if you did check at the very beginning, uh, email me, email my client, you would be getting the link also at the same time. So you could log into your own email and take a look at, the, uh, at what the prospect sees. Or simple enough, you can go here to where the little shopping cart is and actually see a view of the client's cart. So you click on that. It brings up a view of the client's cart. And you can see that it's got a nice little banner here that uh, you'll be able to customize one day. You've got your contact information over here on the left. You've got your uh, email address. If you had a web page, you have your web page here, phone number, fax, pager, all the things that we would have in your agent profile in the MLS. So here's your um, list of properties that we had. This is a good opportunity to call your client, make sure they got the email, got the link, know how to open it up. And then you want to go through and explain to them how to see more photos. So they just click on the more photos button. And then they can hit the next button or just cursor over each particular property photo. Look at them over and over. They can get the more details, click more details, which is basically the customer display that you would email the client, branded with your contact information, not the listing agent's information. Okay, and anytime there's a change to the listing, such in this case price reduced, it'll have a nice little blurb here. Okay. The listing is no longer available once it enters the cart. You know, it expires, it goes pending, it sells or whatever. It'll say this listing is no longer available. Okay, so you'll know that the client can go ahead down here and click remove that listing. They can print the details. They can email the details. So if they want to send this particular listing to a friend and say, hey, what do you think about this property? They can simply click on email the details. They can schedule showings through the prospect cart. You will receive an email uh, when that happens. If the client wants to show, see that particular property, you can then respond to the email. And all of those back and forth will show up in the comment section that I mentioned at the very beginning within the prospect manager. The client can view and edit comments. This is one important thing that you want to point out to them. You'd like to see them in the cart doing things. 
which means looking at the videos, looking at the pictures, reading the text, and you want them to comment on the properties. And so they could type in a comment back to you like, looks great, how deep is canal? And they can start communicating with you through the prospect um, program. They can even rate the listings. Kind of want to show them how to do that. They just drag and put the stars in for the listings that they like, one to five stars. And when they're all done, they click Add Comment. And then that will come to your email. And you can locate on the map. And that'll bring up the Bing map. And they can change it from the street view to the bird's eye view. So in our case, we're looking at uh, these canal homes. We want to see how they look on the canal. Just roll your mouse to scroll in or scroll out, or use the plus and minus signs. Here's our subject property. And you can just pan the map by dragging the mouse over. So they can look at other properties around the subject property. They can add it as a favorite. Um, we don't have the text agent for capabilities right at this moment, but we will have that eventually. So you click on uh, Add Favorite. And now that'll show in your view of the cart that they like that one as a favorite. OK. Ones that have a virtual tour, you can click on Take a Tour. Watch the virtual tour that they have. Uh, as they look through here, if they see one that they don't really like, they can just click Remove and remove that listing from the cart altogether. Now on your view in the Prospect Manager, which we're going to look at in a second, you can place that listing back in their cart. Only you can delete a listing completely out of the cart. Um, there's now 500 maximum properties that can be in a cart at any given time. So you might want to go through and uh, talk to your client and find out and show them how to remove listings from the cart uh, if it starts to get to where they've got a lot of properties in there. Again, they can add ones that's favorites or ones that they don't like they can remove. The listings in the cart initially come out in the newest one order first, but there is a sort button at the top and you can change it to a couple different things as far as price and ratings and stuff like that. Okay, we're going to refresh the screen here. We're going to go back into the prospect manager. Okay, we've had our client over there doing a lot of things. We go to log in to Inovia uh, later that day. So we're going to log back in and we're going to take a look over here at this button where the prospect manager button is and you can see that it's now flashing new messages. Okay, so now you know that you've got a message. Maybe you log in for a different purpose, but now you can go right into your prospects and see what kind of messages you might have. Okay, you can see the messages start to fill up down here. You'll notice now, under your listing cart view, your view, the agent's view, you can see how many actives are in the cart, how many they've chosen as favorites, and how many they've chosen to delete. So click on your view of the cart. You click on the number of actives and now you can see each individual listing that are still in their cart you can see their status MLS number photo address area county square footage acres list price list date days on the market how the listing was added to the cart okay these were manual ads uh, and then there's also automatic ads which are uh, listings that are added to the cart from the updates. Then you can see last time they viewed a listing. This is why you want to talk to them and show them how to click those buttons. How many times they viewed a listing, if they've rated a property, and when the last activity was. And then under the sticky notes, you'll see your ongoing comments back and forth. 
and you can see the little yellow flags to indicate that that property is a favorite. Okay. So that's your view of the cart. As that starts to build up, you'll get a lot of good uh, feedback from your clients and you'll be able to use this prospect manager a lot better. Here are the messages that came in. So you click on the little upside down pyramid here and you can pull the full display, look at the listing history, view any previous notes, send a reply or just mark as read. So if you want to send a comment back to the client, click on send reply brings up the email box and send them back a comment and click save and now they'll get that email back okay so <clears throat> you go to the next one and you can just mark it as read, send a reply, view notes, etc. And then if you ever hit the refresh button after you've looked at your messages, it'll clear out the ones that you've seen already. And that works out well. Upcoming showings, uh, if they've scheduled any showings, they'll start to show up here. Well, we cover that in a, in a later class. Then you've got some buttons up here that are kind of new. Uh, we've got the add button, which we've already used, the filter, once you start building up your client list, you get a couple hundred people in here, you may want to filter them out by the different ways that you can filter. You can filter them by property type, whether they're active or inactive, filter them by any of the groups that you made, uh, filter them by name. And so you, there are some search capabilities once you build up a big client base in the Prospect Manager program. So that's what your filter is all about. Then you have your contacts. You have the ability to import or export your contacts from the Unovia system to your contact manager. And then the use check. There's a, just like regular use check in Unovia, various things you can do here. Talked about uh, when we put our clients in and we put in their addresses, you can do mailing labels. So you go to the left hand side over here, check all or just the ones that you want to send a mail out to and click mailing labels and it will uh, create a PDF of the mailing labels for all your clients that you can paste and stick and put on a brochure or a newsletter or anything like that. You can email your clients all at once or in batches so if you wanted to send a notice to all of your clients you just click the button checks all of the list all of the the prospects and you click email brings up the email box and you can email a blast to all of your particular clients. Maybe an upcoming open house or a price change of some import you might want to let them know about. Delete would be to actually delete a client altogether. I mentioned earlier that they have an expiration date uh, and then after they expire they just go into an inactive file. But if you're done working with a particular client and you want to get rid of them altogether, you go under use checked and you click the delete button and you will delete that particular prospect completely from the system so they can't be restored. An active and an inactive can be restored to an active. Here's your status. So if you had one under inactive, you click inactive and from there you can restore it to the active status. Groups, here's where you can manage your groups. You click on manage groups. and you make a new group. These are ones that you probably have none if, if you're using Prospect Manager for the first time, but you can group them into various different categories, whether they're you know, long-time prospects or they're anxious to buy a home or uh, investors or whatever you want to make uh, as far as your different categories. Uh, anytime you want to add a group, you just give them a code and you give them a description and put in how you wanted them to be emailed and click save. So now you have different categories of, uh, of, of clients that you can set up. And then there's clear filter, we'll just clear any filter that you've got set up uh, to, do, to do your searches. So that's basically what you have for the prospect manager program. 
important thing we wanted to stress here was just the uh, steps that you go through to put the client in, step one, set up your search, step two, run the search, step three, and then step four, email the client their first group of listings. Once you get that done, the system takes over. And so anything that matches your client's needs, they will be emailed a new uh, link, and it'll be the whole cart with all the listings in it. It's not just a link with the new stuff. Well, in summary, we want, to know, want you to know that there are basically four steps to getting your clients set up in Prospect Manager. If you remember, we went in and added the client's information, including their email address, is step one. Step two, we put in their search criteria into the Inovia search page. Step three, we ran the search and placed the listings in the cart. And then the fourth thing that we do to get the initial group of properties out to the client is we click on the envelope button to send an email. And then from that point on, the system takes over, depending on what you set up for your frequency, and it runs the matches, sends the client a new email with the new link, and they have their prospect cart that they'll be able to um, look through and find a, a good property that you'll be able to sell them.